troubles. Oh, hi there everyone today is an exciting day because i just realized that it's the last time that i'll be having lunch at um, the viewpoint from where i'm working and this place is really special in a sense because i went through a lot here i would come and take my lunch breaks here when i was basically almost the only worker and there's just so much that happened since then and this place has it took on a different meaning and so i'm going to share with you guys my lunch spot look at this i mean you can't beat this view for lunch so pretty look at that valley it's supposed to be like winter today which it's really not it's warm outside there's maybe a cool breeze the air is super clear and everything is really green because it's been raining recently. There we go, my little spot. I started working here at the end of 2019 and I was in a situation in which um, there was a subject that I was praying about a lot and it was something that was completely out of my control and I remember just the stress that I felt at the time and the trauma and the challenge and the heartbreak was so immense and the situation didn't come out the way that I wanted it to. My prayers weren't answered or at least weren't answered in the way that I wanted them to be answered. I went to the States and I, before coming back, I took this job again because my friend that took over my job the last time went on maternity leave. And so I was really hesitant because I was sort of like, wow, how am I going to feel going to all the same places in which I experienced so much trauma in life? And this was one of those places. This view, my lunch place, became a very difficult place. And so I made it a point in my mind to re-experience everything and create new memories here. And so what I've been doing is that Reem and I have been coming here for lunch we then take a stone and we throw it away. We, we declare all of our challenges and problems and heartbreaks and fears and worries and our dreams even. It doesn't have to be negative things. We give them to God. And so let me actually show you a montage of how that actually looks. It's not as beautiful as you, Reem, but we'll take it. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. We're on an adventure. Find stones! Oh, Aim, I'm taking that one. The size of my problem. Ooh, throw worthy. Dun, 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 dun. Ah. Ooh, bye bye. Be gone, troubles. It's really important when you pray, I've discovered, to let go of the outcome because anything that you hold on so tightly, if it's taken away from you and you haven't first given it to God, it's much more painful than it needs to be. It doesn't mean that like, it doesn't mean that even when you let go of a prayer, it won't be difficult if it's not answered but i think that there's a measure of trust that you experience when when you actually let go of what you're holding on to I, I look at it like a helium balloon you know like if i took a helium balloon and i let it go and it just went up to the sky i don't have the ability to get it back if i let it go then i let it go and so that's how i approach prayer and Looking back at my times here, I didn't, I didn't let go. I didn't let go of the things that I wanted, of the outcome of things. I, I held on to things way too tightly, and really, that never works out. Like it never works out to my benefit that I hold on to things and and declare them as my own. I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but also comment down below if you guys are from different religions. I know there's a lot of different people that comment on this channel. 
um, but comment down below how you pray or communicate. Um, I think it's so interesting that people have their different ways or different traditions and I would love to hear what you guys think about the subject of prayer or if you've ever had, you know, a prayer that was answered in a miraculous way or I don't know, if you didn't, then how was that experience for you? I just honestly, I want to hear it all. Moving forward, I think that this stone throwing habit, even if I can't do it physically, it's something that I want to do spiritually. It's something that I want to integrate into my life all the time, the habit of letting go, because in that letting go, I'm saying to God, God, I am actually giving you control. I am so grateful for this opportunity to work here again, because I feel like I left here in a very, very difficult situation. And I feel like I've been given the opportunity also by my boss, but also by God to sort of redeem that time. You know what I mean? Like, it's like when you experience something hard somewhere, you want to go and make it better and create new memories. And I feel like I have done that here. I've made a new friend, Reem, who is so, so, so precious to me. Like, I can't even tell you guys how grateful I am to have Reem in my life. I'm looking at this time at this job as God giving me an opportunity to see that things can get better and that he uses all things for the good of those who love him. You know what I mean? That it's not all lost, that your pain isn't for nothing, that he does take it and he does change things. And so I think that's what I'm learning. Okay, it's the end of my lunch break. I should probably head back. But before I do, I'm going to show you guys how I pray and you guys can join me too if you want to take an actual stone or an imaginary stone or any type of thing that symbolizes what you're wanting to let go of then do this with me and pray together with me in whatever way fits you okay I'm gonna search for a rock this being a desert we should have like a ton Ooh, so many to choose from let's find ourselves a rock Ooh, this is a pretty one. Look how it's shining. I'll take you. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, I've got my rock. <laughs> I'll show you guys where we stand. We stand here and we throw our rock down into the valley to the point where we can't see it anymore. This is my prayer that I'm letting go of. I'm letting go of my timeline of when I think things should happen or shouldn't happen. I am casting away my dad's sickness. I'm giving to God um, my freelance adventure. <laughs> I'm giving to God um, my future husband, who I have no idea where he is, but I bless him. I am giving to God my worry, my anxiety, my dread, and I'm also giving him my dreams and I'm gonna let it go. Okay guys, that was the end of my prayer spiel. I would love, 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 love to hear if you guys pray, how you guys pray, comment down below, interact with me. I also wanted to say that I literally do pray for every single subscriber, whether I know them or not. And because you guys are important to me, I think that God loves all of you like he loves me and I think that you are precious and so if you're new on this channel then join us subscribe thank you for joining and if you're a regular here then I will see you guys very 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 soon I love you guys goodbye